As you begin to learn the game, the most common response to E4 you'll see is E5, an excellent choice from beginner to grandmaster. Once you gain more experience, you will also see C5. This is known as the Sicilian defense. Black fights for the D4 square immediately. After knight f3, black has several popular moves, including e6, d6, and g6. The Sicilian is such a complicated opening with so many options, we are just going to discuss the basic ideas that both sides can use. Of the many options, knight to c6 is one of the most popular choices. White sometimes plays bishop to b5, but white's most popular and aggressive move is opening up the position with d4. This is known as the open Sicilian. Black will not let white keep two pawns in the center. So black trades a wing, or non-center pawn, c5, for white's central d4 pawn, with c takes d4. After knight takes d4, white wants to open up the position to attack, because white can complete development faster than black. Because remember, black spent time to play c5 on the first move to imbalance the position instead of developing the king side right away with the safer e5. On the other hand, black is happy to trade pawns on d4 because this means black has two pawns, d7 and e7, that can fight for central space and white has only one central pawn, e4. The Sicilian can be very tactical where attacks and counterattacks are common. Here are a couple common plans for both sides. Black can attack white's center immediately with e5 or Fianchetto the dark squared bishop with g6. And after knight c3, bishop g7, black's bishop attacks white's knight on d4. This opening is known as the accelerated dragon. After bishop to e3, protecting the knight and developing a piece, black usually plays knight to f6. White can play positionally by playing bishop to e2 and castling kingside. A common setup for white against almost all Sicilian defenses, or play the more aggressive bishop to c4. Pointing at black's weak f7 square, white may decide to castle queenside and attack black's kingside with moves like f3, g4, and h4, or play more cautiously by castling kingside. Black will always look for a chance to safely play d5, attacking white's center and opening up the light squared bishop. Another popular choice for black is to play knight f6. And after knight c3, instead of trying to attack white's center immediately, black will sometimes try to keep the center closed with d6. And after bishop c4, play e6, blocking white's light squared bishop from attacking f7 and preventing any white pieces from entering the d5 square. After bishop to e3, protecting the knight on d4, and bishop to e7, white can safely castle kingside or play queen e2, so that after castles, white sharpens the game with castling queenside. White has ideas such as f3, g4, and h4, attacking the black kingside, and black will try to attack on the queenside with ideas of a6 and b5, or try to open up the center with d5. As you can see, there are a lot of ways to play the Sicilian defense. Now that you've been introduced to the sharp Sicilian defense, let's take it to the challenges.